the most important part about infant and toddler development, and this is what neuroscientists really agree on, is that babies wire their brains to their environment. That means they wire their brains to their experiences, to what happens to them in their little life, in the context of their relationship with their caregivers, with their mommies and daddies, and everyone who takes care of them. Little babies, as we know, and toddlers too, don't have the um, context of experience. They come into the world waiting to get instructions. As Dr. Lisa Feldman Barrett says, they're awaiting their wiring instructions. And the wiring instructions come from how we help them understand their world. So the most important thing, I think, when I start off talking about infant mental health is that we need to pay attention to our babies' bodies and brains, but most of all to their bodies, because their bodies will tell us if they're feeling safe, if they're feeling comfortable, if they need help with a burp, if they need security, if they need warmth, if they're hungry. Babies are dependent on their caregivers for everything. Now, that's partly why it's so scary to be a parent, because it's a huge responsibility. But luckily, babies are also wired with resilience so that we can redo things, we can repair, and we can build new experiences off of bad ones. So if we have a bad day as a caregiver, if we yell at our child and we really didn't want to, um, the next time we can do it better and we can repair that memory to help that baby come to anticipate that experiences that they remember from the past, the good ones are gonna happen in the future. And that's called anticipation and prediction. And it's how we share the meaning of the world with our babies. And I will be talking about this a lot um, as I do more sections on infant and toddler development and mental health.